Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about carry lookahead adder or also known as lookahead carry adder. So the purpose of lookahead carry adder is to generate the carries early before the execution of succeeding stages. That means in the ripple carry adder, we came to know that there is more delay because of the waiting of carries from the previous stages. Suppose if we have taken a 4 bit ripple carry adder, in the 4 bit ripple carry adder, A3, B3, even though these two bits are ready, this particular full adder associated with this A3 and B3 has to wait for the occurrence of C3 has to wait for the occurrence of C3. Without having C3, this particular addition operation cannot be performed. And similarly, the C3 which is generated from the previous full adder, this may be the full adder and having A2, B2 as inputs. Again, this particular full adder has also wait for the generation of carry from the previous stages. Like this, as the number of stages increases in the ripple carry adder, the delay also increases. Because the last full adder, MSB, most significant bits, have, even though they are ready, they have to wait for the generation of carry from the previous stages. So, like this, as the number of stages increases, the delay also increases. So, as the number of stages, as the number of stages in ripple carry adder increases the delay also increases the delay also increases so this is what the main drawback of the ripple carry adder so in order to avoid this to increase the speed of operation our speed of addition we go for carry look ahead adder carry look ahead adder the meaning of this one is what do you mean by carry look ahead adder so carry look ahead adder so we are generating the carry before the occurrence of these carry c3 c2 like that okay so immediately when the A0, B0, A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3 are ready, all the carries are generated at a time without having any delay. Okay, so once all the carries are generated, then automatically they will be applied to the full adders and they can generate at a time parallelly. So we are generating the carries ahead. That's why it is known as look ahead carry generator or carry look ahead generator, carry look ahead adder. Okay. So, for this purpose, we use two different uh, functions. They are known as carry generate and carry propagator. So, for this purpose, we use two different functions. Two different functions. They are, they are, First one, carry generate, carry generate and the second one is carry propagate, carry generate and carry propagate. So carry generate is indicated by GI, carry propagate is indicated by PI. So I means any number. 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. <coughs> okay. So, first carry prop, carry generator. Carry generator. So, here there are some conditions. GI is equal to 1. Whenever there is a carry, GI is equal to 1. Whenever there is a carry c i plus 1 there is a carry c i plus 1 is generated is generated okay 
so whenever there is a carry ci plus 1 is generated automatically the carry generate gi is equal to 1 that means it depends on it depends on ai and bi inputs ai and bi inputs only okay so depends on ai and bi carry generate gi becomes either 1 or 0 okay that means the relation between these is gi is equal to ai and bi the relation between ai pi and gi is gi is equal to ai dot bi it is an and operation between a and b that means if both are ones if both are ones then only the carry generate is equal to one so when both ai and bi are one then gi is equal to one that is the relation between carry generate and ai and bi so immediately we can get this gi whenever we have a not b not a1 b1 a2 b2 a3 b3 like that okay for any number and the second one is carry propagate carry propagate indicated by pi carry propagate pi is associated with the propagation of carry it is associated with the propagation of carry propagation of carry from ci to ci plus 1 ci to ci plus 1 it is calculated as pi is equal to pi is equal to ai xr ai xr bi it's an xr operation between these two inputs a and b okay suppose if you want p1 then it is an xr operation between a1 and b1 p2 a2 b2 that means see here both the carry generate and carry propagate are no way related to carry they are generating irrespective of the carries there you can calculate the carry propagate and carry generate before the execution of operation or before the generation of the carriers so let us take the truth table of this carry look head adder truth table for carry look head adder truth table for carry look head adder or look head carry generator so a b c i c i plus 1 and this is the condition where we have carry generate and where we have carry propagate as per the definitions so we know when there are three inputs eight combinations are there 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 and now here in this case there is no carry during addition there is no carry here also there is no carry here also there is no carry but here we have a carry when both if both inputs are ones and if any two inputs are ones then we have a carry here also no carry here we have carry here we have carry here we have carry now the condition is as per the definition carry generate where the carry generated where carry propagate so we will see a not 
axr bxr here we have no carry generator see here no carry generator what is the generate formula gi is equal to ai dot bi okay it's an end operation and pi is equal to ai xr bi okay here in this first case there is no carry generate and there is no carry propagator so in this condition no gi and no pi and here in this case carry propagate is there in these cases see up to here up to here carry propagate carry propagate that is pi because what is the definition of carry propagate carry propagate is equal to 1 if any of these two is 1 that is nothing but xr operation if you look at here a and b b is 1 here also b is 1 but in these two cases a is 1 so definitely output uh, pi is equal to 1 and what about last case last case again no carry propagate but it is having carry generate because both are ones a b ones means and operation is 1 so here carry generate carry generate that is gi hope you understand okay so from the definitions of this gi and pi we have derived this truth table nothing more than that okay that means when both a and b are one irrespective of carry in when both a and b are one see here one more important thing is just we have taken the carry generate and carry propagate conditions irrespective of c in c in is the input carry we have not considered that at all just we have taken the formula of g a and a and p a and we have taken where the carry is generate is there and where carry propagate is there okay respect of carry we have taken all these conditions okay that you have to keep in mind so okay now theoretically we can say when the same just i am writing in words both a and b r1 a and b r1 irrespective of carry the new carry is 1 irrespective of carry nothing but cn the new carry <coughs> is 1 so this condition is so this condition is carry prop carry generate this condition is carry generate expression for carry generate is we know g is equal to a into b and similarly when both a and b are zeros irrespective of c in the new carry is also zero new carry is zero that's why there is no carry generate and there is no carry propagate so that's why there is no so no carry new carry <coughs> when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 the new carry the new carry depends on c in bit c in bit so carry propagate can be given as carry propagate can be calculated as 
can be calculated as P is equal to A X R B into C N or C I. A X R B into C I. If A X R B is equal to 1 and C N is equal to 1, then C I plus 1 is equal to 1. If A X R B is equal to 1 and C in is equal to 0, C in plus 1 is equal to 0. So that means carry propagate depends on XR operation of current A and B inputs and as well as the first previous carry. First carry, it is not the carry from the previous stage. Remember this thing. It is not the carry from the previous stage. It is the carry from initial stage. Okay. So, new carry is depending on, therefore, new carry depends on initial carry. Initial carry, nothing but CN. Okay. So, we can write C naught is equal to AB plus AXRB into Cn. C0 is nothing but output carry. Output carry is equal to AB plus AXRB into Cn. So, we can write the C0 is equal to carry generated. An to B is nothing but carry generated plus AXRB is nothing but carry propagate into Ci, initial carry. Okay. So, the generalized notation, the generalized notation is C i is equal to G i plus P i C i minus 1. Okay. C i is equal to G i plus P i into C i minus 1. Okay. So, remaining we will continue in the next class.